Welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. This is Dr. Madeline. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about the uh, soul star chakra. And uh, as we're looking at needing to um, cleanse and um, purify and unblock this chakra, it's uh, six inches above the head here. Six inches above the head is kind of that that opening, the connection to angelic beings, ascended masters, um, opens up to the higher plane. And we can have deep soul healing occurring through the chakra. So some of the words that go with this are angels and masters, universal light, divine wisdom, soul healing, cosmos, uh, light beings, personal guides, creator, and source. So lately, I keep getting drawn to the soul star chakra. It seems to be the one that I'm being drawn to the most. Um, and this uh, soul healing. And I think that both um, soul healing is coming into the uh, realm of my, my own soul needing to be healed. And as it is healed, I'll be able to offer that to others. So I open to receive deep soul healing now and embrace the support of pure love to guide my healing journey. And so for now, each of us are on our healing journey. As we embrace that support, we have deep soul healing. We'll be able to guide others on that journey. So I think it's a very important um, healing that we are going through at this time. So lie comfortably and place a clear quartz crystal, which is this one, in your hand and near your soul star chakra and allow its energy to support the process. Imagine golden light streaming down from the heavens and entering your soul, soul, soul star chakra. It's kind of like trying to say that five times fast. Imagine these vibrations, sorry. Imagine these vibrations of pure light activating the soul star and strengthening your connection to the higher realms. Feel divine light pouring down through your soul star into your consciousness and allow it to vibrate through every cell of your being. Being as present with the process as possible and allow yourself to receive any divine guidance or messages that may come through for you right now. Open, allow, and feel your soul star chakra activated and create a clear and pure connection with the higher realms. I think in this case, uh, many times I imagine a uh, soft uh, lavender healing light energy uh, coming in through that chakra but i think each one of you will maybe have a different color that is the greatest meaning to you and it's important to look at um, colors to imagine colors um, and they're part of the healing process so I think that in this case, one of the things I wanted to say about the clear quartz crystal is I found it to be very beneficial when you're in an environment where you're, you're an empath and you're really getting bombarded by a lot of emotions from other people, you know, thoughts and emotions. If you hold this with the energy facing away from you, it will actually pull those energies away from you and you feel the sense of peace. So one day I was uh, feeling a lot of my family's uh, grief over the loss of a loved one. I was having a lot of um, headaches and pain inside and I held this for a long time like this and it began to uh, relieve that and take it away. And then you can take the crystal and run it under uh, water for a while to kind of cleanse away those energies so it can be continue to be used so i i everyone has a different thing that helps them but 
I have found a lot of power and help in the uh, Claire Quartz uh, crystal. And something else may uh, really resonate with you over time. Okay, so let's take a look at the animals um, that maybe would want to help us in cleansing and things that you'd like to tell us to do with cleansing of this soul star chakra. Okay, the dog. Be loyal to what you love. He kind of has a thing on top of his head. The koala spirit has a plan. And we've had this one before, the elephant learned from the past. So, uh, you know, thinking the, the, the soul star chakra helps us to connect to the higher realms. And so my first thought is, you know, the, the ancestors, you know, learn from the past. So we're looking at the, the ancestors, the shaman, um, kind of like from that perspective. This one, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of maybe all of the, the gods, especially like the Hindu, um, Hindu type gods, the, uh, all, all of those uh, different gods that we may be um, looking to. And then for the dog, it's kind of like the familials, the friendly. So, the, you know, the angels and the things that come right next to us and help us in our daily lives in a very special way. So, um, be, be the angels are saying to you, be loyal to what you love. And so, so many times, and especially lately, I, I, for a long time, I felt like I was in prison and, and that my mind and my heart and my body were in prison. And that was nobody's fault. It was, it was my own. It was myself that was imprisoning myself in my own thoughts. And as I awakened, as I came free of that, I began to look everywhere and see everything. But in the end, you, you start to find what is it that you truly love, what is really important to you, and to be loyal to that. And so I think that's, that's a really important uh, part. So as we are looking at the koala, so, so I'm thinking of in the higher realm, and kind of looks like maybe the 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 gods, anyone you know, from the Norse gods, the um, oh the Hindu gods to the oh you know you you, you know all the different um, you know Buddha, kind of like Buddha, all of those. So Kuala spirit says, um, spirit has a plan. So the koala spends most of its life in one tree, eating one food, and just, it's, it's cute, it's cute to death, but it's kind of doing its own thing. And uh, yet in that, um, there is a plan unfolding and a place and a direction for us to go. So I think that the, the higher, higher plane is coming to us and uh, talking to us about spirit has a plan. Um, excuse my, the children's noises. So the third one, the elephant, I think we're looking, it says learn from the past. So the stories of the past, the shaman of the past, the ancestors, our own past stories, our grandparents, our great grandparents, our parents, their stories and learning from the past to help us with the future. And so I think that that's a big part of this uh, soul star chakra coming, uh, bringing into us this uh, wisdom. So if we want to take a look at the uh, the shaman and cards and see what they have um, have to say. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, it's the Sorcerer, which is number 48. So when we take a look at the Sorcerer, let's look at the uh, book, see what we're talking about. 48. Okay, the essence. This is, so the essence of the card, here's the Sorcerer card, it has really beautiful presentation. Her face is painted, the sun and the rainbow, the other planets are around her. This is the source of dark power. The sorcerer represents the destructive aspect of the human psyche and the self-centered behavior that harms others. It symbolizes the unconscious beliefs and ideas that foster separation, conflict, and scarcity. Well, that is such an interesting thing to think about. It's kind of like a, a juxtaposition to the light. You know, so we have this, the light of the soul star chakra coming down into you, this pure light from the higher planes. And yet we're being pulled all the time as humans toward this darker, this darker side of ourselves. And uh, it talks about the beliefs, the unconscious beliefs and ideas that foster separation. So there's so many things that we have learned in our lives from others that we have to let go of. And I think that cleansing this uh, chakra and bringing these new uh, new beliefs, these new perspectives into us will help to push away the old beliefs. And beliefs are thoughts that we have thought over and over again. So if we want to change our belief, we have to change our thoughts and so that we think new thoughts all the time. So the invitation to us is when the sorcerer enters your circle, you're being called to look at how your beliefs around scarcity and self-centered fear manifest in your world. So how do your beliefs of scarcity and fear, you know, affect your world? Examine the destructive part of your psyche that misuses power and harbors feelings of resentment, vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry or hatred perhaps you've harmed someone because of these dark tendencies if so all is not lost you have only forgotten that all beings are interconnected and the universe is abundant the sorcerer arrives to challenge you to change your thinking you've been given a second chance. Correct your course and practice not blaming others for the darkness that lives inside of you. Make peace with it and choose another way. Okay, so the medicine. Have you been feeling out of source because you've been faced with your own character flaws and the pain that you inflict on others? when you are out of alignment. So when we are out of alignment with the source, with God, um, then we will harm, harm others with our actions and our thoughts and our words and our behaviors. So are we feeling out of source because we've been faced with these realities? Radical self-acceptance is called for. You must reconcile these darker aspects of your nature so you don't behave irresponsibly and cause more harm to yourself and the ones that you love. It's time to come out of denial and accept responsibility for your words and deeds. When you meet the energy of the sorcerer with humility, this destructive power transforms into grace. Well, that's cool. When you meet the energy of the sorcerer, so when you meet this darkness with humility and you say, yes, 
I do cause a lot of the problems and the or evils in my life. And by reacting differently, I will have a different, uh, different life and a different approach to life. When you meet these energies with humility, this destructive power transforms into grace. So it transforms from destruction into grace, which you can use in service to the highest good. Perhaps it's time to make amends. Do it. It will set you free from the shadows and let you step into the light. And so accept with humility who you are and step out of the shadows into the light. So let's take a look at the tarot and how the tarot is asking us to learn lessons from this uh, chakra, the soul star chakra, the cleansing, purification, unblocking, so that we have a more direct connection to light, to the higher planes, and to our guides and those who are guiding us on our path. the world. That's one of my favorite cards in this deck. The union, the two of cups or two of vessels, warrior of pipes, which the uh, warrior is the same as the knight. So the uh, the Knight of Wands, the Trapper, Pregnancy, the Trapper is the uh, Two, the Two of Wands, and Pregnancy is the Four of Cups. Strength and captive. Okay, the uh, contentment and the one of blades, which is the ace of swords. All right, so um, let me do this. Underneath is honor. Okay, so um, this is is uh, saying you know, kind of showing this a uh, bigger picture that you know, as uh, the soul star chakra will, you know, opening of that will really help the world, and you'll be able to help the world. And you'll be given the strength that you need to uh, face any of the challenges that you have uh, through this uh, connection to a higher power. And having union um, with that will bring um, you the strength that you need to fight whatever you have to face. So in this case, he's the captive. He's been overrun by the enemy, the um, Eight of Swords, 
and he feels like he's been taken captive so no matter where he is or what he has to do this union will always be there so no matter where you are in life this uh soul this uh soul star chakra can be open uh, so that you can be getting the guidance that you need and uh, that guidance will lead you into uh into this sun this sense of happiness and this sun the happiness that he's riding into um he knows you know the power the it has it has a true sense um a true sense of the wands you know has this fire fiery energy um the moving forward and it's interesting because this wand has been broken and so at the same time there are things that he doesn't notice that are broken around him that are going to need to be fixed and so as time goes on you know they have a lot of contentment they have what they need they have the water that they need they have the horse they're riding home and yet the sun is beating down on them so even in these really hard times they know that they have what they need because of this light shining into them through that uh, soul star chakra. And so if we look at the um, the trapper, which is the uh, the two of wands. He's coming back from the hunt successful. He's our hunter. He's successful. He's coming through the uh, uh, snow he has what he needs to move swiftly and effectively and so he his uh journey isn't finished it's kind of just begun so he's finished his hunting and he's begun his work home and while he's doing that journey he kind of gets a new inspiration a new direction a new thought a new focus a new strength um to go to go the distance and to, to take what he needs and so this uh four of cups you know this lady is sitting here under the tree she's resting um she she's uh well satisfied and she doesn't know that she's that she's pregnant that she's carrying that life within her so the tree of life that has begun again and continued on so it can it can be representative of new birth and certainly um this this soul star chakra will help us with a rebirth um and it's new birth and it's forming something new it's kind of this this inspiration beginning to grow and as it grows it it finally culminates in this uh this four of four of wands which kind of is the it's the happy celebration card you know for some people you know it can even be the wedding card in this sense you know that they're making a good trade and they're giving honor to each other so as we um talk to the higher beings the higher powers make sure that we always speak with honor okay so um <clears throat> we have through the soul star chakra we have the power to learn about the things in our life that are holding us back and holding us down and keeping us in the dark so that we can through humility and grace walk into the light and so during this time we're to hold on to the things that we love we know the spirit has a plan and learn from the past so uh, I pray, pray for blessings for you as you heal, cleanse, and open the soul star shop.